Okay, so I think uh, this problem demonstrates the amphiprotic nature of water really well. Amphiprotic being that something can act as an acid or a base. Okay? So, if you see, and just like in the last problem we did, right, we have water being the acid, it's donated its proton to the SO3 2 minus ion, right? Here, in fact, it's going to be a base. Why? Because HCl is a very strong acid, okay? Um, if you, uh, you want to think about the strength of acidity. So remember, we, you guys know the strong acids, okay? So all of the hydrohalic acids, they're all strong acids, okay? So since this is a strong acid, we know it's going to be donating its proton, okay? So already we know this is an acid, okay? So if this is an acid-base reaction, the other thing has to be the what? The base, right? So notice, in this problem, water's a base, and in this one, it's an acid, right? You could tell that. You don't even have to have done that first, right? We could look. What has water done? It's gained an H plus, right? Because here we have how many H's? Everybody. Two. Two. And how many do we have here? Three. Three. Yeah, very good. That's what I like, right? And how many pluses do we have here? Zero. Zero, and we have one here, right? So it's added an H plus. So that's how we can tell. Okay? What about here? The Cl lost an H plus, right? How do we know that? Because it's got no H there, and it's got a minus there now. Okay? So, in other words, what is this thing called? Conjugate acid. How do you know? Well, this thing doesn't have a proton to do it, right? So it can't be the acid. Okay? Not to mention that this thing gained that proton. So this is the what? Conjugate base. So again, this shows the M the Protic nature of water, okay? That just means you can act as an acid and as a base in different situations, okay? Is everybody cool with that? Any questions on that one?